It's on to the national championship game. Or not. Apparently, I forgot that we are in a conference that needs to play a conference championship game. And unfortunately, we have to play one more game before we can go to the national championship game. And we have to play our arch rivals, Utah Utes, to get a chance to go to the national championship. This is exactly what I don't want to see. Utah is a tough team, and we have already beaten them this year. And to have to do it again is definitely not something I'm looking forward to. But here we go, third and four. Nice job by Moi to pick up the first down. So, so far so good. And this time we get to war ball on snap, but he fumbles the ball. No! Wow, normally sure-handed war ball fumbles the ball. A guy with 95 carry statistics. Oh my goodness. And now Utah gets the ball in our half of the field. They give it to Bennett. Bennett is luckily stood up. But now 4th and 3, Utah decides to go for it, given the field position in between a punt and a field goal. And they convert, it's wide open, it's Turner, he gets the first down inside the red zone. A couple plays later, it's another third down, Wilson drops back to pass, he's got Bennett, but Bennett shut down anyway. So Utah's forced to kick a field goal, so now we are down 7-3, coming right back out. It's a 2 man under, and it's picked! I have no idea how that's picked. I thought my receiver got enough separation. Oh my goodness. I think he had enough separation, but I waited for the receiver to come across too far. And the longer I waited, the worse the angle got. And now, on the ensuing possession, a disastrous turnover again. This time trying to hit Robertson. On the route, deciding to beat the two men under. But again, I waited too long. So now Utah already up 10-0. Has a chance to punch it in for more. Sanders gets a first down. He rolls around, does not get the touchdown, but it's a first and goal. And on the next play, they give it to Sanders. He shoots and he gets inside. And he gets the touchdown. Shakes off a tackle at the same time. So now we're down 17-0 just like that. And for starting with the ball, I mean, this is a very, very difficult situation to be in because Utah's going to get the ball to start the third quarter. So a third and two, I have no choice. We give it to Moye. I mean, we would like to pass the ball more, but we got to pick up third downs, especially against a tough team like Utah. But now we got a man wide open. Yeah, it's Chatsap. And Chatsap is going to be able to take this one all the way to the end zone. 17-7. The Juice Frogs have a little bit of life. And an incompletion here. I think the ball hit the receiver on the back of their head. But on third and one, Moye is wrestled down short of the first down marker and instead lost the yard. So fourth and two, we gotta go with Moye again. Moye is stuffed again. So we'll give the ball right back to Utah. Turn it over on downs. Not what we needed when we are down by 10. That was our best chance to come back into the game. And now this is going to be rough. Because Utah has the ball inside the 30. Up by 10. And they can really close out the uh, second quarter. Second and 10. It's a fumble! Huge play. This is exactly what we needed. Nice job by Bradford to pick up the fumble. Now we got a chance. But no, it's a booth review. Are you kidding me? That looked like a clear fumble. But as always, like I said in the previous videos, whenever they do a booth review, it's going to be out overturned 99 out of 100 times. And sure enough, it was overturned. Brings up a third down. And the running back just barely gets that. We needed that uh, fumble so badly. That was an absolutely crucial fumble. Luckily, Utah is not able to convert on their third down, so they kick a field goal. So now we're down... 20 to 7, trying to pull up more points, but Fletcher is sacked. Brings up a second and 18. Everyone's still well covered. We got nothing. Third and 25. I was forced to take a timeout. This time it's two men under again. And luckily I was able to get the ball off uh, before I was sacked. So Utah gets to start the third quarter with the ball. Definitely not what we want. 20 to 7 isn't insurmountable, but we need to get the ball to start the second half, which we don't have, which is really, really difficult. And 
Now, third and ten, this is our chance to get off the field. We don't. They complete the turner. It's like an 18-yard gain. Now, first down, they get to Mosby. Mosby does the ducking move, gets extra yards, get inside the 10. Now, a couple plays later, it's third down. And it's complete, but well short of the touchdown. So Utah kicks another field goal. We're down 23 to 7. Now with only six minutes left to go in the game, this is really, really danger, uh, dangerous territory for us. We get the ball to Slaughter. Nice catch by Slaughter. Coming across the middle on that slant. But on the ensuing play, Fletcher is sacked again, bringing up a big second and 18. It's two men under. I think there was a man open, but. Fletcher is sacked again. It's third and 26 now. We're going deep. We got a man wide open, but the ball is overthrown. Oh my gosh. And our fourth and 26. We have no choice but to go for it. And this is not looking like a good start. It's a two man under. And this one just goes nowhere. Oh my gosh. Now Utah comes right back on 2nd and 4, and the running back gets it inside the 10. Here we go, 1st and goal, nice duck move by Sanders, another spin move, gets inside, it's 30 to 7, and that pretty much just seals the deal. Oh my gosh. It's one thing to not be able to make it to the national championship, but it's another thing to lose to your arch rivals, and have your arch rivals shut you down. From not only the national championship, but also the conference championship, and a possible trip to the Rose Bowl, and also the number one ranking. Oh, here we do come back with a touchdown to Warren Ball, but at this point, it's really too little too late. And Utah's just chewing off the clock at this point. They give it to Sanders on third and nine. And he gets 4th and 1, so luckily we're going to be able to get the ball back and hopefully pull off another miracle like uh, the game against UCLA. But not when we get sacked like that. I think Fletcher's hurt. Yeah, Fletcher's hurt, so we have to go with the back of Allen. Allen's sacked just the same. 3rd and 26. Now with a minute left, this is pretty much over. And Allen's hammered again to bring up 4th and 34. And no, nope, our receivers are not open once again. I just go for it anyway. Almost a catch, actually. But no, it's turned over. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Utah beats us. Uh, before this game, we were 2-2 two two all-time against Utah. And now Utah has retaken the lead in the all-time series in the rivalry. Utah goes up 3-2. to two. But the worst part, we lose our number one ranking in the country. We lose our chance at the national championship. We lose the Pac-12 championship. We lose the chance to go to the Rose Bowl. And for a season that has gone so well, and I have to say 12-1 is still an absolutely fantastic season, a phenomenal record for this kind of team. But to lose all those things when we're just so close, that really, really hurts. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next week in the bowl game.